witch. She's a funny kid witch. What a honey when she flies up on her broom. She zips around with the zoom, zoom, zoom. She's magical and mystical and smart. Oh, honey, half witch. Bright and sunny, she's as cute as a bunny. She's half wizard and half girl. She waves her wand and you're in a whirl. She's full of tricks and sweet as an apple tart. A half pint pixie, sure to win your heart. This sure is a good spot for a picnic, Cecil. No ants. And no Stanley the Sorcerer. Stanley the Sorcerer knows all, sees all, and eats all. <laughs> yeah, that sure had a kick in it. I'll just have one more for the road. You may hit the road. Why, for two cents, I'll turn you into a... Egad, what's that? Look, a giant. A giant? I hate to eat and run. I just remembered I never intrude in private picnics. Don't panic. Sorcerers and children first. I guess that includes me. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. I'll have a meeting out of the palm of my hand. Hey, you up there! Yes? Uh, have a donut. No! No, you won't do. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Yo, you won't do neither. Uh, that, that's bad grammar, but good news. Ah, you're the one I've been looking for. Oh, me? Yes, you, honey half-witch. You put me down this minute. Shh. You may call me George the Giant. If you don't put me down, George the Giant, I'll turn you into George the Tiny Dwarf. Can you really do that, little witch? Well, most of the time. Wonderful. Just what I've been looking for. You mean you want me to change you to a toad? He will hear you. Who'll hear me? Oscar, the big bully who lives in that cave. He's always picking on me. A big bully is picking on you? Yeah, just because he's bigger than me. That's why I want you to turn him into a dwarf. Then you can go back to your picnic. Is he really bigger than you? Come on, I'll show you. Oh, what was that? He's snoring. Even that scares me. Boy, what a snore. Shh, please don't wake him. He's even meaner when he first wakes up. Now go in there and please change him into a dwarf. Uh, uh, what if he does wake up? I will tell the world what a brave little witch you were. Gosh, it's dark in here. I'll follow the snores. Golly, they sound closer, but I don't see Oscar. I wonder where he could be. Hey, another cave. He must be in there. That's where the snores are <gasps> coming from. That's his mouth. Boy, is he big. No wonder George is scared of him. Oh, how am I going to change him into a dwarf? I'm so jumpy, I forgot all the magic words. i got to think of something quick. I got it. I'll hypnotize him. Oscar, can you hear me? Yes? Listen closely, Oscar. You have been turned into a tiny dwarf. But I don't like being a tiny dwarf. It worked. Don't worry, Oscar. I'll tell George the Giant to be real nice to you. Well, okay. Thank you. George! Is she a tiny little dwarf yet? No. <laughs>
know, but he thinks he is. And you're going to play along with it. Do I look tall enough, honey? Fine. Now hide the hill with those trees. Ready? Ready. Wake up, little Oscar. Here he comes now. Hello, little Oscar, the tiny dwarf. George, you've grown. No, I haven't. You've shrunk. Gee, George, sorry about all those times I picked on you. In fact, I feel so bad about the whole thing that I've decided to leave town. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me along on the picnic, honey. Hey, you're welcome, George. Anybody have any objections, fellas? Not me. Nor I. Some of my best friends are giants. All right, then. George, you may take two giant steps. Okay. He didn't say may I. May I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You certainly can. You certainly can. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.